Hey there, Elder Statesman back here again, um, and this is our new renamed Friday show, The Weekly Rundown. Um, I felt this was a better name for the uh, show since it's more than just pack opening. Um, so for the rundown, we are going to start with how the decks did in the constructed events. So, third place, um, and this hurts me to say this, third place was Mermaid Motel. Um, you saw in the first... Uh, event it was in, uh, it went two and three, I played it a second event, and it went three and three. Um, even with that five and six record, it still has a 71% win rate, and it's my most successful deck, but it's going to be dropping out of the rotation. This could be a sign that the metagame has changed and is now uh, more hostile to this style of deck. Um, I played against a lot more mono red, um, and I've seen a lot more Ritual of Soots. So, um, for now... This is going to be dropping out of the rotation. At some point, it might be coming back. Um, I might do a best of and bring back three um, older decks. Maybe try to update, um, breathe some new life into the rotation. Um, and definitely when the next uh, set comes out, because it has Simic, I'm going to be bringing this deck back. But for now, it's coming out of the rotation. Uh, second place was the Pinball Wizard deck. Um, first game, first uh, event on on the uh, video was five and three. Second event, one and three for a six and six overall record. Um, this deck really feels like an all or nothing type deck. Uh, it's got a lot of powerful synergies, but you've got to draw the right mix of creatures and spells. Um, if you get a two creature heavy deck, it struggles. If you get a two spell heavy deck and they manage to take out the few creatures you do draw, um, it struggles. Um, when everything clicks, it gets some powerful games, which you saw in the, the video that I posted earlier. Um, so this one's making it by the skin of its teeth, but it is in. Um, I'm okay with the deck going 500. Um, I prefer um, to get four wins um, as an average um, for the constructed events, because that will uh, you'll make money that way, essentially. But for now, this is in. The top deck was Blue Sway Choose again, Temple deck. So, first uh, event was 4 and 3. The second event I did, construct event, was 5 and 3. So, 9 and 6 total. Um, so, I brought that back for the, uh, the last event of the week. And that one, I went 7 and 2. So, very good week for, for the blue tempo deck. Um, did see some more mono red. Uh, but this deck has a little bit easier time playing around that. Um, just because it's got, a, you know, at least a couple high toughness creatures um, and some counter magic um, to protect uh, the key creatures. So um, this is right now the top deck for the week going in. So Blue Sway Choose, Pinball Wizards. Um, I've, I've downloaded a few decks here. A lot of these I'm not going to be able to put together quite yet. I'm missing a lot of the cards. Uh, I've got a mono green. Um, uh, like a beast deck, uh, Selesny tokens. That's just the, the the good deck everybody's playing. Just got control. Um, this these two here um, are both uh, Golgari decks. This one um, focuses on the gruesome menagerie. Um, we bring back a one drop, two drop, three drop into play. This one's more traditional. Um, this wayward frenzy just looked like a fun deck that I saw Nox just playing on stream. Um, the ones I'm close to building, I'm close to building the Soldier deck, um, depending on the rares I pull. Um, and Burn and Love, that is the Mono Red deck. Um, that one's probably going to be the one I make. I don't know if I'll be able to get all of the cards. Um, I've got some commons, that should be no problem. I'm missing um, nine rares. Runaway Steamkin, Goblin Chain Whirler, and Experimental Fury. Um, and so, you know, I'd like to get... I pull a couple of these so um, I don't have to get them all with uh, wild cards because I'm not going to have that many wild cards. Um, there are functional reprints that you can put in place of it for some of these cards and make a one that kind of works. I've already got the uh, the mythic wild card for this rekindling phoenix, so that's not the problem. Uh, it's just going to depend how many rare wild cards can I get. Um, can I pull any of these cards? from packs, any of these rares, um, and how close. It probably will not be an exact copy, but still should be decent, um, and we'll give it a try. Um, so let's go into the packs here. 
Um, got a mix packs again. Um, I've started to buy some core set now. Um, I've kind of caught up with these sets. I think I've, at this point now I've bought 12 packs of Dominarian core set. I've opened and 11 of the Ixalan. Um, Guilds of Ravnica, of course, is the one I've done the most because I keep getting three packs every week um, from the uh, the win winning 15 games for the week. And then I, I get one for the draft at the moment because it's been the draft format. So I've been opening a lot of that. But there's cards that I need that, out of all these sets, and they're all going to give me potentially wild cards. So uh, let's open these up and see where we're at here. All right. Wild card, like it. Being with dinosaurs, good card. Um, nothing else there. Let's see, rare. Ah, rare wild card. Exactly what I'm looking for. Next pack. Uh, Call to the Feast is decent. Um, nothing there really I need other than that. Uh, let's see, rare. Oh, mythic wild card. I don't really need a lot of mythics. At some point, though, if I want to make, like, the Jeskai control deck, I'm going to need more mythic wild cards, so that'll be good. Uh, let's see here, rivals. Uh, legs, nothing. Yeah, man, really nothing in this pack that I want. Let's see what the rare is. Slaughter to the Strong. Uh, yeah, no. That, that pack was kind of a bust. Common wild card, need that. Uh, Legion Lieutenant, very good. Um, I might build a vampire deck at some point, so I wouldn't mind having that. Uh, as to these, not much here. Rare. Mastermind's Acquisition. Yeah, no. Okay, Dominaria. Let's pull some of these cards here. I know there's some commons I need out of this. Commons and uncommons. Wizard Retort. I unfortunately already have four of those. Lanowar Elves. I have four Lanowar Elves, but I don't think I have four of this one. So that would be nice to get four with the same picture. Um, rest of these, nothing here. Rare. Teshar. Ah, got it. Like three of those already. Okay. Where's my wild cards? Wizard's Lightning. That's one of the ones I needed for the red deck. So that's good. Um, none of these here or anything, but the Wizard's Lightning is awesome. Oath of Teferi. That's not the Teferi card I wanted. Huh? Uncommon wild card, good. War Chief, that, <coughs> that's playable. Vicious Offering, I've seen in a lot of decks. So, a couple playable cards there, and a wild card. And for the rare, Fall of Thrawn. Eh, okay. Corset. Haven't opened one of these in a while. Common wild card, good. Need that. Oh, Heroic Way of Fortunes have four already, unfortunately. Um, Elvis Rejuvenator, I might need. I've seen some people play that. Um, I don't know if it's better than the District Guide, but some people think it is. And Rare. Drag dragon Sword. Oh, nice. Um, I do like the Dragon deck. Okay, Ravnica. This could make or break what deck I end up building if I pull, um, some good red-white spells for the Soldier deck, or maybe some black-green. I can maybe cobble together a, uh, a black-green deck. Let's see here. Um, already got four of those. Crawl Harpooner, that's a key one. For the uh, Golgari decks and Uncommon Wild Card. Good, need that. Light of the Legion. Boo. Okay. But Crawl Harpooner, very good card. That goes in multiple decks. Uh, is it Locket? Uh, Garrison Sergeant? No, no. No, nothing there. Rare? Unmoored Ego. <clears throat> Sideboard card. I don't see any decks using it main deck. <clears throat> okay. There's 12 Trooper, no. Severed Strands, I've seen people play. Spybug, good. Being Splitter Mage, no. Rare? Ooh, Overgrown Tomb. I love me some dual lands. 
And last one here. Not a lot of wild cards pulled. Uh, Golgari Raiders, I think it already had four. Price of Fame, good card. Um, yeah, Commons, nothing here, but that one's good. And the rare. Thief of Sanity. Decent. All right. Oh, Mythic's going to be next. So what do I have here? I have two common, five uncommon, three rare. And a Mythic. So three rares. I could do... I could do a Steamkin and two Chain Whirlers. I've got a third risk factor I could use to kind of replace the card drawing I'd be losing from the Experimental Frenzy. Um, I could just go all Steamkin. I'm really not sure which of these rares is most important for the deck. Um, unfortunately, I only can get two Firebrands, even though it's common. Um, five uncommons, which means... Oh, and I don't have the Pyromancers. Um, I can get the Wizard's Lightning. I can get the Rekindling Phoenix. I'm actually a little bit farther away than I thought I was going to be. <clears throat> Not having the commons kind of hurts. So let's, let's hold off on that. What about my Soldier deck? Can replace. I got that, and the Bannerats. I, I feel like those are key. Um, I can get three of the Radiant Destinies. I can maybe get close to building something like that. I don't know. Am I close on either of these? Six uncommons, ten uncommons, um, eleven uncommons. This one uses a lot of uncommons. I can get the Doom Whispers. I can get the Gruesome Menagerie. So I can get those two for sure. That one, a couple of the Jade Light Rangers, or no, I probably do Fine Finality. Get two of those. But I only have five uncommons. So I'm still a little short on this one. Maybe get something close. Two Seeker Squire, two Merfolk Branch Walker, two Wild... Well, actually, the Branch Walker is probably the better one. Get three of those, two Wild Growth Walkers. But then I, I don't have the Plague Mary, I don't have the Plague Crafters. I could add extra Chupacabras to replace the Plague Crafters. I could put in two Charnel Trolls, maybe, to replace the two Jade Light Rangers. I might be able to make this one work, and I've kind of been wanting to play a deck like this. Let's give this one a try. So first thing, Doom Whisper. Oops, I did that wrong. And this is just a really good mythic. I know I use it in other decks. Um, okay, Doom Whisper. Uh, let's see here. Gruesome Menagerie. Oh, I only have three rares. Okay, definitely the two fine finalities. I've got three minutes. I'm going to get a G Light Ranger. Okay, um, I 
I can get the three branch walkers and two wild growth walkers. Okay, what does that leave me? Two commons. I don't think I need any commons. This deck. I do not. Okay. So, what can we get to fill in for some of these? So, let's see. I need some two drops. Creature. Um, let's see here. Hey, as we want good, strong cards that we can that are good early in the game, but also good later in the game when you bring them back with the gruesome menagerie. Okay, what jumps out at me here? Thorn Lieutenant jumps out at me as a good one. Crawl Harpooner seems good. We'll add one of those and one of those. Get rid of the Wild Growth Walkers. Um... Glowspore Shaman. Get that in there. Swarm Guild Mage. And some maybe. What's that leave? Knight of Malice could be good. Graveyard Marshal might be a little hard to cast, but could be good. I like the Freebooter. Maybe try a couple Freebooters. Alright. Um, Plague Mare and Plague Crafter. So, let's see. How many Ravenous Chupacabras do I have? Um, I've got one more of those. Okay. Let's look at three drops. Now, I've got some Charnel Trolls. Um, if I'm dumping a bunch of creatures into the graveyard, Charnel Troll could be... Uh, a good card to bring back in the late game because it's going to become very large. So we'll definitely get that. Slimefoot. Mm. No. Okay, none of those. This could be decent as just a blocker against all the red decks. Um, this could be good if there is a lot of uh, enchantments and artifacts. I don't know what the metagame is going to look like right now. Um, nothing wrong with Generous Stray. Oh, or District Guide. District Guide might be pretty good um, to replace the, the Jade Light Ranger's ability to dig you for land. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards this. Help get some land out. Okay. 
What's that leave? We've got Grusin Menagerie, Molder Hulk. Just look at our rare mythics and see what we've got here. See if anything jumps out. I don't know how much stuff I have counts as a zombie. I don't think I have much in the way of zombies. Um, access to Vraska's Contempt might not be bad. Open the Graves. Could be a decent replacement for Gruesome Menagerie. It's going to generate some creatures. Um, let's throw that in there for now. Hulk's just a big 6-6. Six, six. It does come out fairly cheap. Got Vraska. Might be worth throwing in just to play. Alright. Land. Well, let me just double check see if there's anything else here that Jumped out at me. Karn, but... Nah. Okay. So, get rid of the Memorial to Follies, unfortunately. Only two... One Overgrown Tomb, one Woodland Cemetery. Um, I'm gonna have to play... So I'm coming to play tapped. I don't want too many. I'm going to stick with probably just four Golgari Guild Gates, which picture looks better. I kind of like that one. Okay, let's have it suggest lands. 50 50. That only gives us 10 untapped forests to play a first turn Land of our Elf. I only have three spells that need black in the first two turns. Only seven that need it in the first three. So I think I'm going to drop a swamp. <coughs> and add another forest. Nah, just one. We're going to do it that way. So i got to come up with a new name for this deck. I'm not going to call it Gruesome Menagerie. Oh, I made 61. What do I have here? 18. 24. Did this deck not run? wonder if this deck didn't run 24 lands. I'm going to I'm going to cut a land. I'll double check and see if that's where the cut was or should have been made. I think so. So, not a perfect replication of the deck, but when you're doing free to play, this is kind of what you have to do. And since we're not in the the uh, competitive constructed events, this might still be good enough. Um, in the future, once you unlock some more cards, you can get this the way it is. But especially early on, um, when you're first building your collection, these are the kind of decks you have to build. Not exactly the way you want it, but as close as you can make it. So, 
I think this will be the deck that we do. Um, so I will see you on Monday. We're going to be using this deck for the first constructed event. Um, probably do the uh, the uh, Wizards Pinball for Tuesday and then the uh, Blue Suede Shoes on Wednesday. And then for Thursday, we'll see. I'm hoping we still have uh, access to a uh, uh, Guilds of Ravnica draft because I'd like to do another Guilds of Ravnica draft. Um, but that's what we got coming up. So we will see you on Monday.